Hey, this is JDNFIA. Just want to show you how you can use tritone substitutions. All right. Instead of playing your regular 36251 or just a 251 or whatever you're playing, um, you can play the tritone substitutions and get a whole different, I guess you'll say, different vibe. All right. So here go your regular 36 and C. All right. So 3, 6, 2, 5. With tritone subs, you have three, six, two, five, one. All right, and I'll break that down to you, um, kind of show you what's going on here. All right, so we're gonna look at the three. All right, our three is gonna be our E. All right. Normally, when we do our three, six, two, five, one, we're gonna start off on that E. You may play an E minor, regular E minor, E minor nine. All right, E minor seven, whatever you're playing. All right, um, play that E minor. All right, and then you go to the A minor, which is your six. Once again, however you play it, it doesn't matter. All right, so we're gonna look at this E, I three. All right, if we go a tritone away from E, which is gonna be three whole steps. So from E to G flat is a whole step. G flat to A flat is two whole steps. A flat to B flat. All right, that's three whole steps. If we go to that B flat, all right, that's gonna be the interval of a tritone. As you can see on the screen, it says tritone. All right, so what's interesting about the tritone, a lot of magic happens with the tritone. What's interesting, the reason why it works is because the third and the seventh, all right, those two notes are common notes within two different keys. All right, so if we look at the key of C, I'm gonna hold this with my right hand. I'm gonna take my time here on this video and break this down to you. All right, if we look at our C, all right? The third in C is gonna be E, one, two, three, all right? And the flat seventh in C is gonna be B flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, flat seven, all right? The third in the flat seven, E and B flat. If I also go to the key of G flat or F sharp, whatever you want to call it, all right, the third in F sharp or G flat is gonna be B flat. One, two, three. And the flat seventh in G flat or F sharp is going to be E, all right? F is your seven, E is your flat seven. All right, so that those two notes are common notes with two different keys there all right so what that means is I can interchange those chords and swap those chords around you know anytime I want to create something you know a little bit different all right so instead of playing the E minor 7 all right now that we know what the tritone is we're gonna play that B flat minor 7 or B flat minor 9 or B flat minor however whatever B flat chords you got in your in your arsenal all right so we got I got B flat on my left hand right hand playing the dominant seven which is a flat c is the ninth d flat is the minor third and f is the fifth all right so i'm playing my three my tritone substitution for the three all right now i can go i got two choices i can go slide down to my six which is a all right because you're playing three six all right so since i'm at b flat i'm a half step from a and so that's a smooth transition there to finish out a three six two five one. All right. Or instead of playing that A minor, I can go to a tritone away from A, which is going to be three whole steps. So A to B is one. B to D flat is two. D flat to E flat is three. So I can play instead of playing an A minor nine chord or A minor chord, whatever. I can play an E flat minor chord, all right? Whichever E flat chord, you know. In this instance, I'm playing an E flat minor nine. I have E flat, B flat on my left hand. Right hand, I'm playing D flat, F, G flat, B flat. All right, so I got three, six, instead of my regular three, six, all right? So, we're in C, all right, we're doing our three sits, all right, 
we, then we had to go to our two. All right. So what do we want to do for the two? We can we can three six slide right down to our two. All right. What I did was play the three, the tritone for the E, tritone for the A, which is E flat. All right. And then that's gonna slide me down to my two. All right. I can come to a D minor. Or I can go to the tritone away from D, all right, which is B A flat. So I can play an A flat chord. Now with the A flat, I'm gonna play A flat seven. All right, so I have A flat, E flat, my left hand, right hand, G flat, C, G flat. Nice open, nice open voice in there. All right, so I got three sits, and when I say three sits, I'm talking about in reference. Do the tritone substitutions. All right. So the tritone substitution for the three, tritone substitution for the six, tritone substitution for the two. All right. Now tritone substitution for the five. All right. Tritone away from G is D flat. So as you can see, this sounds very familiar. This is a three six two five one in the key. Of G flat. All right, same chords. If you was in the key of G flat, you would play three, six, two, five, one. All right. So now instead of doing that, you can look at it with the mindset of tritone substitutions, and you can borrow any one of them chords. So you may not want to borrow all of them. You may just want to play, uh, play the three regular, play three, just to kind of introduce it. And then for the six, you may want to go to the tritone. And then for the two, play regular. And then you may want to go up to the five, build a presence, and then go to your one. Or you may want to go straight to your tritone substitution for your three, slide down, and then tritone substitution for your, for your two, slide down, and then go to your one. however you want to do it but the concept is any so basically any one of them chords from the three six two five one in g flat you can use in the key of c to play a three six two five one with the substitutions i and vice versa i can use those three six two five ones in c to play it in g flat so borrow some of those chords if i was in the key of uh g flat i might say uh three I might say three, borrow that six from C, two, borrow the five from G, two, my one. So basically, you're just borrowing those those chords from the other key. All right? So three, borrow the six from G flat, borrow the two from G flat, play the regular five for C, go to the one. All right, so just be creative. You know, I know this video is a little long, but I want to kind of take my time to show you a couple of different, you know, options that you have when you're looking at this topic. All right, so I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.